from the foot of this bramble-covered hill in Canby. It was crying. They heard it. It sounded like a cat in heat at first, and that's what everybody thought. Every day for a week. We hadn't talked about it together. It took a neighborhood garage sale to bring Eileen Ross and the rest of this mobile home park to the realization that it was a dog up there and he was trapped. You could tell it was in distress and it was getting a little bit more quiet. A passerby called the Oregon Humane Society, which deployed its technical animal rescue team. But he was a long way down and there was no way he was getting out. Team leader Virginia Krakowiak drove out Monday morning, ready to rappel down a nasty little hill and rescue the dog. This is where rescue crews tied their rope and rappel down. But first they had to cut away a lot of brush, mostly blackberries and poison oak. I don't have any poison oak, I don't think. One little spot was worth it. <laughs> oh, he's so cute. There, tucked away in the brambles, was this little Australian shepherd. No collar, no microchip, no telling how he got here. When I first saw him and when I saw he was awake and okay, and then when he crawled towards me, I mean, it was, it's the best feeling ever. And that poor dog was so tired, it climbed in the back of the van and laid down. He's at Clackamas County Dog Services now. Without ID, they consider him a stray, so if no one claims him, he'll eventually be up for adoption. He'll have a happy home. And now the neighborhood, they get credit too for saving his life, has a mascot. But it brought us all together. In Canby, Catherine Cook, KGW News.